All right, we got Riff here. We're, we're going to hang out today, and we're going to take a look at some underrated Super Nintendo gems, which is very exciting because you put together your list, I put together my list. This may be a top 10, and maybe a new series. Who knows? But regardless, I encourage everybody to give this video a thumbs up and share it vibrantly with feverish sharing on the internet to all your friends. First off, how are you, friend? I, I am great. I'm glad we're doing this. I'm glad uh, we're, we're talking about the Super Nintendo. You know, I showed you this off camera, but it's Super Nintendo is important to me right there. The con when you got a Super Nintendo controller tattoo, you got to find reasons to talk about the Super Nintendo. Hey, check this one out. Oh, oh, when I think of Super Nintendo, one of the first things I think of is side-scrolling platformers. I oh, think yeah. the Super Nintendo, like the NES did them and did them great. And I feel like the Super Nintendo just took them to the next level. So... For me, I figured, I'm like, okay, what's like an underrated one that people talk about, but I feel like don't talk about how good the game is, and I'm going with Spark, sir. And the reason I say that is I am a big retro game collector, and every time I hear someone talk about Spark, sir, they're always talking about the value, right? It's an expensive game. It's hard to find. It's worth a lot of money. And I'm like, that may be true, but we're looking at one of the better side-scrolling platformers, and I think what really makes it stick out to me is when you think of a side-scrolling platformer, how do you get around? You jump. You jump around. Sparkster, you have a very, uh, oh, a, what do you call it? Accessibility, a move, a move set. The way you move in the game and pretty much take care of everything is by launching yourself either straight forward, diagonally, like a freaking bing, 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 bing. I mean, you can see it even right there, just even yep. on this character. And it just, it introduces a different style of mechanic um, that I feel like is so simple, but yet so effective and detrimental to actually beating the game. And uh, I think it's fantastic. Have you played this? Well, so so here's the thing. This is what's interesting about this to me is Sparkster to me is not a Super Nintendo game. Rocket Knight Adventures is a Genesis game. Here we game. go. And here yeah, listen, go. I know that I'm not alone right here, right? Yeah. I, I, and I know of Sparkster. Look, don't don't you roll your eyes at me, young man, all right? I, because I, because I, <laughs> I know I'm not alone by this. Because for me, Rocket Knight Adventure was like, this was the quintessential yes. Genesis title. And yes. it was this was weird to me. That there was a there was a Sparkster game on the Super Nintendo. So weird, in well, fact, that I never tried it. Well, technically, it is a sequel to Rocket Knight Adventures, which is kind of funky. I think in Japan, it's actually called I think Sparkster Rocket Knight Adventures Two. Mm. So, the big question, and this is the question I ask everybody that's like Sparkster Rocket Knight. Yep. From you, I can't ask you it because your answer is already going to be Rocket Knight's the better game. But you not playing this this. I'm not a big Rocket Knight guy. Does this have like all the same vein similarity that you're seeing on the screen? Yeah, it looks like the exact same game. Yeah, for sure. Is, it, it, I could be wrong. Is Rocket Knight thicker? Is he a bigger dude? Yeah, yeah. Is he, he a little bit more beefy? Yes, I, I, I will say that. He does look more beefy in this version than, than, this, than the Genesis version. He, he's yeah. very lean and cool, but it is. it looks pretty fast. And the fact that this was on the Super Nintendo and not the Genesis, like th that my 13 year old brain feebly doesn't understand what what happened there why this was on the super nintendo and not the genesis because in my mind what was going on at the time was capcom was a nintendo console right or what yes. was a nintendo was a nintendo company they just yeah. made Mega Man and 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 street fighter it was on was on the super nintendo and like when capcom games started appearing konami games started appearing on other consoles outside of the nintendo i couldn't handle that i didn't know what was happening right and I think that's what, like, Sparkster was was exactly during that era where I, I was legitimately 13 years old in 1994 when this game came out, right? So I was like, I, it must have been a knockoff or something. I don't even know what's going on. So, but yeah, I, I totally see it, and I love what's happening in this game. It looks totally fun. It, it has a lot. When you say the Genesis is funny, it's almost like I get what you're saying about the Genesis aspect of it because when I look at it, I almost think a lot of the way the, the backgrounds move and stuff do remind me of a lot of Genesis style games. Like some of the bosses remind me of like Contra Hardcore. Oh, some sure. of the bosses remind me of like Gunstar Hero type movement. So I totally get that Genesis feel. But I think for me, again, I never really got into Rocket Knight. It wasn't my thing. I know people love it and praise it. Uh, funny enough, they're both really expensive games. And from the common consensus of Genesis people, Rocket Knight's amazing. And from, the, oh, there we go. That reminds me so much of Gunstar Heroes, <laughs> this level right here. Um, but just both are great, fantastic games in the world of retro gamers. And uh, I say this about some games. I hate when games are expensive and they suck. Right. I, I can justify it a little better when the game's 
really expensive and you put it in you're like okay well at least it's a good game it's not a cheetah man or something like that so right 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 it, it's all it's considerably better when the game is good and you see games that, that do suck that cost a shit ton of money and it, it's oh, it's yeah. crazy to think about it's interesting to watch this though because like this segment in particular I, i'm yes. a bit I, I love when games just break up the, the monotony after a couple after a couple levels and be like yeah that's we're, it's not just this but we have we have yep. something different we're gonna throw you on a robotic ostrich and you're gonna run through the desert and collect things and you by yep. the way you, you also have to memorize exactly where all the little yes. diamonds and stuff are because yes. and that's the replayability for these games because you're moving yeah. yeah and this game has a lot of that there is a lot of breaking up which initially oh, was why, like i said dude it shoots lasers it. out of its mouth too sorry i i, I didn't mean to interrupt you but like the that's fact what that, i'm saying like, come on. And that's, again, initially what drew me into it is even from the get-go, you launch yourself forward to get through places and ping-pong off the walls. And even that, again, oh, God, this so, reminds me so much of Gunstar Heroes. Just yeah, showed oh, yeah. me that the game was serious about taking gameplay to different areas. Love it, man. This is this is yeah. pretty fun. And, like, when we say, like, underrated gym, like, yeah, I never hear this game talked about. Like, this game is awesome. This looks super you know, fun. And, and the fact that I, you know, I mean, he's still riding an ostrich, like, three minutes into it, but uh oh the, the level's still going which is crazy okay here we go but yes yeah, so we move around a lot in here i promise they mix it up quite a bit and the graphics are fantastic in this game as well super fun wow that's that's really yeah. good like yeah. i i feel like i i don't know i feel like i missed out which is exactly why we're doing this i suppose <laughs> how much does this game go for like like if you just were to find it at a, at a you know flea market or something funny enough yeah i literally have a video where i walk up to a booth that's what Ooh. i do if anybody doesn't know i collect retro video games I've been doing it for 10 years um walked up to a booth the guy knew what he had i think it's about a 200 dollars game or so um i got it for 140 bucks which isn't again amazing but doing what i do game hunting in the wild it was in mint condition the label was perfect and i was just like oh it's so beautiful I'm willing to pay 140 bucks for it. And I think it's around a $200 game, you know, give or take. Again, nowadays, you know, condition is a lot to people. So, but for me, it was a game that I wanted to play. I actually put it in and beat the game. Oh, That's good for I you. Did. I spent my time beating the game. It's actually not that hard. It, it's hard, but it's not like, bro, look at this. Look at this level. Again, this mixing like a, up the gameplay. Like a shmup right here? Is that what's going on here? Is it shoot em up? Yeah. Yeah. Like, again, All they mix right. it up on boss fights and stuff like that. I mean, this right here is what makes you fall in love with video games and enjoy your time. Because 100%. you go away and go, this was everything. And I think what's what's unique about this game too is, you know, a lot of times when games will mix up gameplay styles, you're like, oh, that one kind of sucked. They they should probably stick with platforming. They're not very, look at this. What is happening right here? <laughs> I forgot about this level. What is even happening? Here, it's it's top down rock'em sock'em robots. <laughs> How great is that, yeah, dude? That's amazing. Yeah, there you go. Right, perfect example that this game won't bore you, man. No matter what you're into, it's just going to throw you for a million different loops and have a blast. Out of curiosity, did you did you play the reboot several years ago? Of, of no, Rocket I did Max? not. I did not. It was pretty good. I, I, okay, it was pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah was, I, I, I'm a di I'm, I'm in a different when it comes to reboots. So you got yours. You got Sparkster. Let me throw down mine here, and I oh, I know you're familiar with this game, but oh, pe people who don't know need to know. One of the best shoot 'em ups on the console. Tons of variety. Uh, also, very high in the alphabetical uh, entry on the Super Nintendo. I'm talking about Axley. Good yeah. Lord. Give it up. Once again, a Konami title. Are we hitting Konami, Konami? Let's get on it. Oh I was going to say 16, 16 bit genre age. When Konami pops up, you're more than likely to have a good game following it. Yes, one hundred percent. So I don't. What to you sticks out? I want to hear what's what's your what's your your pitch to someone who's never seen or played Axley? What's your like, dude? This is a good game pitch. Okay, so the story here, I don't really know. It's just something gets invaded. It doesn't matter. But listen yeah. to this music. Let's just just listen to how it sucks you in as you get going. You got this beat that hits you, and it's like, hey, shit's about to go down, y'all. And it 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 draws you because oh, there's some sort of invasion or something. It doesn't matter, but. The point is that you're going to shoot a lot of things and they're going to blow up and you're going to do it uniquely, which is the best thing about it. Oh, no, the Earth's exploding. Now, you, now it, you bro, it's over. It's over. <laughs> is there a face? Does it look like a weird face? It does kind of look like a face. It kind of did, <laughs> didn't it? There's multiple guns. See if you in the upper right corner over there, there's multiple ways to shoot. You got your big blaster. You have what, what they're using right now. And this is like your uh, your your burst, right? Notice the yeah. scrolling effect is is really really fun. You see how things like just appear from the distance and pop in. And, um, and what I love is that distance isn't like a harsh pop in. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's curling over like a constant wave. 
Yes. And that's it, how every most levels are, have that constant flow. Almost looks like a mode seven, not sure if it's actually like pushing forward from the background. It looks beautiful. Right. So so there's this uh this overhead style part of the game, and then there's also uh your your traditional uh gradius side style scroll. side scrolling shooting as well, which is great. So I, I always saw this this effect as kind of like going over the atmosphere. You're kind of going okay. over the atmosphere the entire time, but you can see the, di the 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 different changing of the of the guns as you as you go through and you and you shoot. Uh, and if you once you get hit, you lose that type of gun. So yeah. it's very important you don't get hit. But listen to this music real quick. Oh, it's so good. It's and it's like it's like you're on a freaking adventure. Let's go, and it, it's amazing. I can speak to how right you are about it being underrated too, as well. Because again, doing what I do, looking at games, it's one of those games. You know, when you're looking at games, going through piles, right? You're with your buddies, scrolling through games, and you know the ones everyone's gonna stop on. Oh, Mario, this. Oh, Donkey, I love that. But actually, it's sadly, one of those ones that just kind of gets pushed through. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, they got this. Actually, this. Okay, move. On. Oh, Super Mario. It's like oh. games well, like this. It's just never spoken about, and it's so unique. I, to me, I keep looking at what I keep noticing is the background and the foreground both have like a almost like watercolor painted like mm -hmm. soft palette to it, and it makes it that mu it's cool because that music is really like oomph, 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 like you want yep. it, you feel it, but it's almost like the background is beautiful at the same time. So it's very interesting. Here's here's one of the great parts is the the weapon select option as you go through yeah. and and you you beat levels your ship is powered up and you can you can change how you know your bombs that you pop in your shot and it's it's really you know, the different three options that you have the mm. oh yeah and it talks to you it voice talks samples to you. are the best dude. oh I love it so here's the side the side action yep. you can actually see the different shots considerably better now this this music here is top tier just give it a second just give me 15 Survive. seconds let me hear this let me hear this so it starts off with this like synthetic vibe right here and you're like okay you're getting you're getting ready to get into it and if you survived long enough all of a sudden like the horns start blaring in in just a second and the introduction as it's perfect right as you go in to this this you're, you're you're infiltrating and look at these shots it's so good man yeah and i was counting like four backgrounds almost of depth in the background yep oh that music is so good mm -hmm. and it's it, you're not you haven't even got to the best part it's, you haven't even gotten any close to the best part of the song it's oh i get some horns it's been a while since i played the game i i do know the game it's been a so while. so I, I i believe the horn on the on the super nintendo is criminally underrated here we go. The horn. I never thought I'd hear that that sense. Uh, the, the horn on the on the Super Nintendo is probably the, one of the best instruments. That and the that and the organ. <laughs> Here it is. I... This is so pretty. The the feel of like I said the softness in the background with the the, the epicness of the music. It's such a cool combination. It just makes you feel like if I close my eyes, I don't know what I would picture, but I would feel like I'm on like some sort of journey. Like that's right. what my brain feels like. Ooh, I like I'm I'm conquering something. You know, I, I that's what I love about video game music, especially of this oh, era, dude. where you feel like you're on an adventure. Like you, you like sick. the music adds to the journey that you're on. And yeah. you 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 feel that in Axe Light. If you look at all the things that are happening around you right now, th look how at that background right now, dude. Yes. Th th look how much a... is going on with that. And, and you're he, side scrolling, it's scrolling up with the moon reveal or the earth reveal, whatever it is revealing itself slowly. That's insane. And we're not even talking about what's happening on in the game because there's all this stuff happening in front of you. Yeah. And like he's yeah. switching between shooting stuff. I mean, yes, graphically, this is so criminally underrated. Musically criminally underrated yeah. um and the, the gameplay is is super solid i mean it's 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 just a fun really good underrated game that i i think that the title axley it, it it's 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 really it's a cool it's a, it sounds really cool but it's also it doesn't really ring a bell for people you know it's yes 
it, like it, if, if they would have just added an S, like Axe Slay, you know, ah. <laughs> like, yeah, you know. Oh, but it's man. like the Axe Slay kind of has a weird funk to it. How's the slowdown in the game? I don't remember because playing it, you know, in my youth, you don't notice that kind of stuff. And I know the Super Nintendo gets criticized for their, their shoot 'em ups. How is there a good amount of slowdown, or, or is it not super noticeable? I got to be honest. I don't know if I've ever criticized the Super Nintendo in my life. So you know, I I, I can't. <laughs> let me, let me <laughs> remind you of my Super Nintendo tattoo. I am with you. <laughs> right, right. <Real laughs> Greatest quick. console of all time, and I don't even question it. You know. Did, did you see what just happened there, though? Like this, this is what these are like tiny little tidbits in this, where a story has been told. Watch what happens right here as you approach this door. Okay. Look at this. The door's already blown off, and it's struggling to open and close. And it's like That's something cool, was here. That's something small was storytelling. Here. Yes, it's it's the it's those little elements that nothing was said, but something happened, and something bigger than you is here. You know, right? And, and, I, and it's something in a video game that's almost hard to notice. But if you put yourself in a real situation, and you know, it's like going into your home, and you, the door is broken down, you'd be like, "Holy f!" You mm -hmm, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So in a situation like this, for a video game of this nature to do that in a simple way, to yet where guys like you are noticing it, I mean, that's fantastic. That's yeah. the key. That, that that's when you're next level storytelling without even talking about it. Right. And and the thing oh, is, I I legitimately, I, I don't know if I've gotten past level two or three of this game. I mean, it's, wow, it's, look at that. Yeah, this this game is difficult. It is very difficult. I mean, there's a bullet hell element to it. You saw that with all the bullets flying out. Uh, I mean, that's just just crazy to think about. But it's, I, I my memories of this game. Uh, in, in so many games of this era that were wow. incredibly difficult, you remember the first and second levels, and that yeah. is what you remember about the game. And yeah. and that's done it. I mean, this, this game goes on for hours and hours and hours. And look at how difficult, like, look at- I was gonna say, it's pretty hefty. It's, it's stupid insane. You gotta know what's happening. This is like, you're gonna die a million times, and then you're gonna have to come back you know, you have to play through another 45 minutes to get back to the stage. I've never even seen this weapon before. That's amazing. Like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Some like giant man or something. Yeah, I mean, like, come on. And at a certain point with these shoot 'em ups, you get these power ups. Yeah. And when you die, it's it's or when you get hit and you lose them, it's the worst. The it's worst. detrimental. Yes, like like why do we even want to continue playing? Because I lost. Yeah, it's it's that moment of debating: Do I go again, or yeah. is it just like? Oh, F this. Like, I can't take this again. Like, that's beyond frustrating. Yes. I think that's a fine line that Super Nintendo games and old school retro games balance. Like, finding that perfect difficulty curve is is crucial because you're either going to get people that are like, I'm done, I can't take it anymore, but you don't want it too easy to where it's a walk in the park. You got to find that balance of people being like, God, oh, but I'm going to try again. You know? Here's, here's your answer to throw down, uh, to slow down. Look at this. Look, look at all the stuff that's happening on the screen of there. All, all the bullets and everything coming yeah. at them. And it, it didn't slow down at all. At least it didn't look like it. I mean, I, once again, I've never seen this part this far in the game. I'm, I'm, yeah. and there's this is this is even halfway through. I'm not even halfway through this. Like, or, or maybe they beat it again. I don't know. But either way, like another run through on hard. Yeah. Actually, I, I think this may be a second run through, but. Oh yeah! Holy, holy cow! Maybe this is like the goes only to five go minutes long. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but but look at all but look at all the stuff that's on the screen. This is clearly a, 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 a more difficult version. But either way, look, this game is top tier. I, I love Ax Axley. Uh, people need to find it, or at least you know, find it legally. Don't definitely don't don't uh, do anything oh, bad dude, and play that, it online. That's that's horrible. But. but uh, it's called Axley, A X E L A Y. It has a. Is that is that one word or two? A single word, single That's single, a single word. word. Right yes. And if yeah. uh, anybody wants to buy it out there, you ready for this? What do you think it's going for? What do you think it's going for? Let's find out together. I don't remember. Uh, oh, gonna... it's it's jumped. Oh, okay. So if it's jumped, I'm going to say hundred dollars for Axley. You're, you're close. There's actually you're very close. It sells ninety five, eighty nine bucks. Is kind okay. of a common thread. I'll, uh, before before you said it jumped, I was going to say like thirty bucks, but uh, but but retro gaming has kind of got out of out of control, you know, recently. <laughs> yes, so, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but I was listen. I'm going to tell you this. That was fun. We're we're gonna we're gonna record some more games, but I think we I should. But I, I think I, I'm going to take that and we're going to figure it out. But uh, listen, if you're watching this, I encourage everybody to go to Pixel Game Squad on YouTube. Subscribe to riff over here in his game hunting adventures and uh subscribe here on this channel and of course give this a thumbs up for more videos of us talking about our favorite snes underrated gems and who knows where it'll go because i got tons more games to talk about <laughs>